So zebra, eh? Jesus. Yeah. Zebra, zebra, Debra. Z- or zebra. <laughs> hey, bra. If you're from Cape Town, it's like, hey, bra, zebra. <laughs> It, you should just see when he's in Durban, like it turns into a proper boot. Listen, but I am. <laughs> it's fucking, it gets irritating, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am a boot, bro. I grew up in a private school. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a private school education, I'll tell you. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the irritating part. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! So, how was the uh, the five so, FM thing? Oh, dude, it was fucking insane, man. We had so much fun, bro. Oh, you guys got to two thousand pretty damn quickly, yeah? <laughs> it was so quick. Yeah. Was, dude, like, if, like if it wasn't for like five FM letting us on air, I'm pretty sure we would still be streaming right now <laughs> at one thousand five hundred and fifty-six. <laughs> yeah, yeah it would have taken forever, dude. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, I'll tell you, if, the, if only all posts start. could be received as quickly as that and get as many likes as that, uh, sheesh, that would be epic. I know, right, dude. Yes, sir. It's like, I mean, it's, dude, like, dude. it's like our podcast. It's like, okay, I anticipate at least maybe 30 subscribers in the first month and the first week. Yeah. Like eight, nine. It's like, okay, estimations are a bit high. Let's go with, say, 20 yeah, for the first three months. And then three months, it's like... Okay, 41. It's just dead. <laughs> I mean, how much marketing does one person have to do? Yeah? Dude, uh, and like, uh, the thing is, like, we've been marketing and like we've been posting and like we've been trying. It's like, just like you have to keep trying and eventually somewhere you're going to break through. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point I mean, of look, doing this, isn't it? To get to get um, yourself out there, and to, particularly now with COVID to get noticed it's, it's hard really hard now no it's yeah. really super i mean in that in that space between going on to 5fm and starting the stream i think we started at 480 something <laughs> and uh, yeah, in yeah, like yeah, four yeah. hours in five hours we only made it to 555 yeah so like four or five hours we got like maybe an extra 100 yeah so it was, it was, yeah, it was a blessing in disguise. Like this. How many, how many days have you completed yet? We completed all of them. <laughs> are we gonna? Are they up on the page, on the Facebook page, or Instagram page, or? I actually, I've been meaning to actually uh, post them. I just and on top of that, marketing. Yet. Come on, come uh, on. <laughs> uh, I think, I think they are on Instagram already. Like, no, um, no, they're not. I haven't posted them. Oh, okay. oh. Like I was oh. supposed to post them today, but I just I was literally because I didn't teach yesterday and we were doing all that stuff. I had to yeah. do a whole bunch of catch up lessons today. So it was Sipe, a what, what, are you, what are you teaching, man? I teach drama, bro. Hey, there so you, go. You, you can't you can't drama. be a singer if you don't have any dramatic vibes in you. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's yeah. cool, man. No, that's epic. Jeez, I gotta, that's, yeah. I mean, why go that route? Eh? Is it just tied in to like the artist in you? or? No, no, I, I studied dance and musical theater. So ah, okay. before we actually started this, this, this like, band, I was a freelance like, performer. And um, I, at the, my girlfriend at the time got me a job teaching and I fell in love with them. And I fell in love with the kids. And, so, yeah, I, just, I love teaching the kids and I love I love having them, so yeah. So who came up with the name Zebra? Or Zebra, if it gets on bra. Um, it was, it was me and Vim. Uh, speaking of which, I just want to call him because I have uh, not... I, I'm, I'm, sending, I'm sending him a, mes- a message now. He definitely forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> it was like, I'm like, I'm like, where is this guy? No, dude, like I sent him a message. I'm like, hey, dude, where are you? It's like, at the flat. Why? <laughs> well, no, well, anyway. it's, it's it's all good. So so yeah, the the name. Like, as soon as they come, I'll, so, I'll let them in. Yeah, don't worry. So, so um, what happened was uh, we, 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 our first name was Expresso. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> 
because it was this black guy and this white dude, and we were thinking, what's black and white? <laughs> and <laughs> we we did come up with zebra at first. And I was going to nah, say nah, ebony nah. and ivory, and I just thought maybe that's not ro- such a PC thing to say. But you know, fuck up, <laughs> you know, Christ, if we get upset by that, then Jesus. Yeah. So like, yeah, we thought <laughs> we thought no, um, expressive milk kind of does it, and then we just that. Like, no. <laughs> then we kind of settled on zebra because. Fuck it, man. Is it black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Nobody gives a fuck. I, I want to know. Um, who, okay, firstly, um, who wrote Mexico? Bro, the man himself needs to get on you. Vim, Vim, Vim wrote that. Song. Okay, and so Vim who, does a lot of the writing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I'm interested in, in um, I mean, I, okay, three songs that, that I, I, I love instantly is I Hate My Boss, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, yeah. J, <laughs> JD, that's that's one that's that's like, hmm, is that, is that uh, <laughs> yeah, is that a bit of a personal touch or uh, is, is there something a little bit deeper in there or? All, all, I, all I gotta say is I have to ask you to sign it. So that she doesn't sue us. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave that one alone then. <laughs> so, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, we can probably talk about it, but uh, yeah, like, 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 I'm not allowed to reveal the, the true identity. Right. But uh, JD was a girl in my past, and um, she broke my heart very, very, into very millions of pieces. And um, Vim wrote the song for me to be like, so, so that he was like, you need to get over this chick. So let's write a song. Fucking get it out, and then you're done. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, and then move on to fuck like, sex. Yeah. Yeah, it was like the second time she'd broken my heart. Oh, like, come on! You didn't learn from the first <laughs> time. Oh, you <laughs> lovesick puppy, you. Hopeless <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> romantic, bro. What can I say? Yeah, oh, singers, dramatic singers, always romantic, romantic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, are you in you the shitter like, or something? Author. You bear we're on the same page, brother. <laughs> Listen, I know, I know, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan likes to shit a lot. Like he's got the fastest metabolism I have ever, ever oh, but, but seen he has to in my play life. With his, he has to play with his four string. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, There's I can like tell you, the man, the man can eat. Two hours later, he's in the shitter. I'm like, how? How does it move through your system I, I, so well, quickly? Your metabolism, like, you are also super thin. So. Uh, I'm thin. <laughs> <laughs> this is only a cut conversation. Man. Yes, well, I'm revealing my bowel movements here. <laughs> oh, you see, that sounds better. There you go. Have you, have you done the coil? Are you right now? Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay so, so when did you guys begin this journey of Zebra? Mm, no, Vim really yeah, yeah. knows the story so well. <laughs> 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 like, the best. <laughs> I sent him a message and it was like, oh shit, fuck, okay, cool. And yeah, you know, nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll probably take him a half happened? an hour just can, to get in. Can I, t- can I tell you what's happening? So I know Vim has got this iPhone, doesn't have a lot of space. So what's probably happening now is probably trying to delete something so you can download Zoom. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. That's literally uh, I, what's I, happening. You know, honestly, I would expect this from a drummer. <laughs> Dude, we we gave up with our drummer. We just we just realized, listen, uh, he's not joining in on Vim, any Vim is of. waiting it. to join the, the the church. Here we go. He's coming in. Okay, we'll just pretend like nothing there was said. <laughs> like. You know, the, the funny thing that you say about a drummer, I don't think he's he's ever been on a podcast. We've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's no... Away, 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 away. He's not. You, you were Quiet. away, now you're... Yeah, well done. My, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's the med Wi-Fi. It was a bit of a mess. <laughs> so what you're saying is you were downloading Zoom. <laughs> Vim, no, honest, honestly, you, 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 haven't, you haven't missed anything other than Ivan being in the shitter and we're talking about uh, Sipe's broken heart. <laughs> and, and you can unmute yourself at any point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Unmute yourself, Vim. <laughs> that, that does help, you know, from a technological sort of standpoint. No, no he's muted himself. No, he's back. No, yeah. no, oh, no, he's closed the okay. curtains. Damn it. Boom. That was v- weird. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. 
Am I getting too old for this kind of shit? <laughs> uh, no, how old What's are you? Happening? How old are you, man? 23. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. Yeah, honestly, you youngsters. No. Are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Vim, 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 Vim. Vim, 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 Vim. How did we start there, bro? Okay, I'm just going to switch my mic off and Ivan, you can take over, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vim, sorry, how the hell did Zebra begin? Go on, go for it. The year was 2017, right? <laughs> how much have you we had to were, drink tonight? Uh, not, I've, I've actually had none. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> that, that gives it all thanks. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, okay, so, so, so 2017 you say? Yes, 2017. It was the middle of the Congo, right? We were uh, exporting some uh, very, very addictive cocaine across the borders uh, from the central point of the Congo. Um, one day came where Duncan just missed the complete batch because he was actually sleeping with our boss's daughter. But that's a story for another time. We had to escape our friend Carlos. He took us to Mexico to escape. And it was in Mexico where we actually wrote our first song. Uh, then we went to New York and we felt they were missing like only South African bands like Mango Groove and Freshly Ground and all that stuff, you know, actually give a banger South African show. And we felt New York didn't have it. And um, basically, started performing as a full-time band in new york showing the yanks how it's done basically <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> there you go i mean you know if there ever were a story you know the fish was this fucking big i'm telling you <laughs> yeah. i didn't have my camera with me at the time to take a photograph but hell you just have to take my word for it right <laughs> damn straight <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez oh boy okay all right, 2017. Okay. So, how's everybody like surviving the COVID crap? <laughs> uh, dude, day for day. I mean, like, let's put it this way. At least we still have jobs. Like, we're we're okay. No, no, no. We don't. We don't still have jobs. <laughs> like, I went well, from having a full time job to teaching maybe six or seven private students once a week. Yeah, from okay, a distance, no doubt, as well. Exactly. Online. <laughs> yeah, online. Yeah. Okay. I mean, is that cost us a job these we, days? Oof, you know, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, look, I guess we're stuck. We, 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 we keep them pushing. Uh, we, we, we've got the yeah. there here and there, and we, 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 we getting as much money as we can in anywhere we can. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, we talked about Because it on Monday. We, we talked about it on Monday where. We said like, we feel like COVID is kind of, um, let's say, let's call it a test for like up and coming bands of like, do you really want to do this? Or are you willing to like push through this time and like actually show passion for it? Mm. So I mean, the besides that now, um, have you guys been able to record while during the last, how many months is it now? Four months? Four months, yeah. Um, we, we, It, it, it's it's our next step. I mean, we've, we've written like Vim has written a whole bunch, pretty much a new album, and yeah. uh, we, we we we've obviously started working on those new songs and everything. But we, we haven't been able to actually get into the studio. You know, also looking at how long it took us to actually release our first EP, um, <laughs> <laughs> it took us close to three years to be releasing our Why? first EP. Um, we also it, it, you know it, it kind of worked out that way, and it was beautiful because. You know, the only time you could get a hold of Zebra music was at the show. And yep. we had quite the nice following to that, so that when we did a show in Pretoria or in Hatfield or, you know, in a place where we knew people would come through, they would come through and in numbers. And yep. we had we had our songs re uh, like recorded for about a year and a half before we actually released them. Um, because you know that it's that thing of okay we're gonna release in, in two months and then we just everything got busy and mm. then okay we're gonna release in the next two months and then you start over listening to the tracks that you've recorded and you're now nitpicking like, oh this is the, this doesn't sound great actually I want to change this I want to change that I want to take it to this and 
eventually it, it, it got to a point where we, we actually uh, hired a brand new um, um, sort of a manager, PR manager, Mr. David Diva. And he was kind of like, guys, you've got the stuff, so let's just put it out there. Yeah. yeah. And that's when it actually, we actually started, you know, planning a launch. What, what actually goes and, into choosing a single to release? Like you've done six songs and you go, uh, shit, which one, you know, which one shall we choose? I mean, those, those were like our first songs that were the most popular, if that makes any sense. That, that was, those are the songs, if you go to a Zebra show, you would seldom go through a full Zebra show without hearing those songs. Hmm. Yeah, we can't, we kind of like gauge the crowd's reaction. Like, okay, cool. They're like, these six songs, let's put this on the EP. It literally took one guy saying, you are like that tune where it goes, uh, Jam with Zebra, which is uh, 21. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. it took one guy to convince us to put that on that album. <laughs> we don't actually yeah. like that song that much, but one guy saying it's cool, comp like totally buggered our minds and it's in now. <laughs> what what yeah. genre is, is, is Zebra? Because I mean, I've been listening to the last couple of days, uh, you know, and I'm like trying to think, okay, well, fuck, it's kind of poppy. Oh, there's a bit of Rocky in there, there's a bit of alternative, there's some Burumusu, you know, it's like, come on now. You know, are you trying to do um, every single genre out there, or? <laughs> we, yeah. we call it, we call it pub theatre. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, fair uh, enough. Uh, Sipe, you can, you can explain it a lot better than I do. Dun, dun, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say you just <laughs> you just done a vim. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to like you know because when you teach you kind of press the space bar and unmute temporarily. Yeah. That's that's I'm so used to doing that. So I keep forgetting to do that. Anyway, <laughs> but <laughs> basically when we started the band, the whole idea was we don't want to be that gu those guys that get up on stage. And say, hey guys, uh, we're Zebra and we're gonna play a couple of songs. And then we'll stand in, make music. We wanted to, you know, get the crowd involved and get people interactive into the show. So, you know, it kind of doesn't feel like I'm watching the show. It kind of feels like I'm part of the show and I'm having a time of my life. So what we do is we kind of tell a story when we're on stage. Well, not kind of, we do. Every time you see a, sh a show, we are telling somewhat, some or other little story about our lives or something that happened in our lives at the time. So that's why we call it pub theater because it's it's kind of like a musical, you know. You're kind of like, yo. So we did this thing, and this happened, and we break into a song. Yeah. <laughs> it has it has like a theatrical element to it, but exactly. it's more so more like more storytelling than it is like like uh, full theatre show. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I've yeah. seen some of the pictures and photographs and and so on. It looks like you guys have a hell of a lot of fun on stage. Oh, dude, we love it. It's the best time. Awesome. I'm, I'm just trying. Yeah, that's why I just started genre. I'm just trying to figure out is it comedy? Uh, yeah, but you know. Yeah, dude, we, get, yeah. we get so crazy sometimes on stage. Bro. Like, I, I, like, I've got rheumatoid arthritis at, the, at my tender age of 25. But, <laughs> like. What <laughs> 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 the hell have you been doing to yourself? Yeah, it's hereditary. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but, like. Dude, I, I like I can I think I can talk for all of us. Like we're stuck the next day after the show because we get yeah, the it's it's the workout, dude. Twenty-six year olds complaining about being stuck. Who would have thought? Huh? <laughs> Bro, come watch the Zebra show and you'll understand. <laughs> you, you understand. I need a Zimmer frame to get in weird to a stage, room. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're not sweating by the end of a Zebra show. We haven't done it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, or, you, or you could just sweat on me, and that's it. That'll that'll work as well. That works too. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is Clinic, the clinically what, proven? They're clinically proven. <laughs> <laughs> COVID resistant. Come sweat all over me. That'll work. <laughs> so, what, what is the what is the message that you guys are trying to portray through your music and, and band? Well, that's, a, that's that's a big one, bro. Uh, Vim, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I feel like Vim explains it the uh, best. Um, I'll start it because that's a, a long answer. Um, I think the a basic summary is just unity, bro. Yeah. Um, I think that, that, that takes it down unity, to Unity, not taking yourself too seriously and actually, right? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, I can hear you. Yeah, just um, not taking yourself too seriously and realizing 
all of us go through the same kind of shit, you know? Yeah. It might not be exactly the same, but everyone's been stuck in traffic. Everyone hates their boss at some point. Everyone had a breakup. Everyone fell in love kind of thing. And it's basically just pulling us together kind of thing. Fell in love. It kind of reminds me of a song called JD. <laughs> no, I'm like a super. <laughs> the, big thing, the big thing there would be the whole idea of you know bringing different people together. Right. I mean, if we look at our band, I'm I've got the theater background, but love hip hop, and, and I'm a piano, and oh, I'm also getting into rock and roll now. And then you've got people like Ivan who are metalheads, and then you got Vim who's straight up you know punk rocker, well not really punk rock, but like rock rock and roll dude. And then you've got Duncan, who like studied jazz, you know. So it's it's all these different types of people and different influences that have come into our lives and kind of over, uh, overflown into our music. And yeah. we pride ourselves of the fact that we can play for any crowd, anywhere, and make them have a party. Yeah. Because we play to the people. There's if there's one thing that anyone understands, whether you're black, white, you're Asian, you're African. You're European. There's one thing that we all understand, one universal language that we all understand. It's music. Yeah. And that yeah. that is our biggest thing is that we want to bring everyone together. As cliche as, as it sounds, we want the Rainbow Nation. We want that's what we want to do and and, and, and promote with our band and our music. Yeah. That's very well said. Yeah. No, I can I can get that. I mean, I can hear it in the music. I put it on. It's, it's like uh, what's the one that's got Afrikaans in it? Is that 21? Uh, I think that's Google Eats, yeah. Google Eats, and I was like, oh God, David, what have you done to me now? I've got to speak to the Afrikaans people about Afrikaans music, and I know nothing about Afrikaans <laughs> music. I was like, fuck, no, you can't do this to me, man. And then the rest of the songs are going, oh, jeez. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to talk, I hate my boss. Oh, no, oh that's, that's, that's Vim's to. department. Vim, how, how did he come up with that, man? That is a... a, a <laughs> a, a song based of anger and me actually hating my boss. Well, ex-boss. Let's put it that way. I've, I've seen like the music video in my head, right? So imagine this guy walking through the office thinking he's all doctoral and shit. Yeah. And you basically, have you seen the movie Wanted? Um, that with Angelina, with Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where the guy stands up and hits his boss through the face with that keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking about that, but how do I put it in a song kind of thing? That's still going to be catchy and not... Why don't you just rip the movie off it? and just reenact it and make the keyboard when it smacks the boss in the face, like the zebra letters come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. There you go, bro. <laughs> I'll just. Where have you um, been all my life? <laughs> in, in Cape Town, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, is, that is the next place you wanted to. That is one yeah, well, well, I hope you guys do come down here yeah, because, I mean, you know, what, you know, I've said to every single band that I've been speaking to, and, and most of the guys that I've been speaking to, Victoria, Joe, Durban, a couple in Cape Town here and there, um, and I just keep saying, please, if you guys come to Cape Town, just drop me an email, send me your WhatsApp, whatever. Just let me know that you're in. You're gonna do a gig or something because I'd, I'd love to. It's 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 all awesome hearing the music on iTunes and Spotify and all these places and whatever and getting sent to you from Diva. But you want to see the shit live? Yeah. No, like I'm not gonna lie. Like we've been trying to organize um, gigs and shows in Cape Town, but I feel I don't know if other guys feel the same, but like my experience is it's not an easy like market to break into, like yep. in Cape Town. Yeah, no, yeah, Cape Town's so tough. Every, yeah, every 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 booking agent I've ever spoken to from Cape Town kind of been like, yo, yeah, um, just make sure you have the money to do it, kind of thing. You know, it's, yeah. it's a thing of, you know, it, it could be, uh, 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 you go there, you make the money, and you're good, or it's a swing and a miss. You know, so. It's 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 a very like Cape Town people apparently are very clicky. So oh, I don't Cape, Cape Town. Out. Cape Town is a is a mega clicky place. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I think fuck so it. I actually like, yeah. live in Cape Town. There you go. So no. anyway, okay. I want to ask. I try to get the, uh, this out of uh, Sipa and, and Ivan. And now Vim, this is your chance now. 
two songs that I want to know the background of JD and Mexico. And let, let, let's start with well, Mexico. Okay, let's start with Mexico because I listened to that and I was like, fuck it. This is like a spaghetti western. All I want to do now is put my spurs up on my fucking desk and shoot back a couple of tequilas. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. exactly it. We literally, okay, I can tell you the, the story that I want people to hear and then I'll tell you the real story, all right? The story that you want to hear when Carlos took us from the Congo <laughs> and we were in Mexico. We learned some Spanish chords and we wrote Mexico, telling people, man, I wish you were in Mexico. This place is amazing. We were getting drunk on beaches and, and living in hotels because we had money, drug money. Um, you know, it was a magical time. But the real story is, <laughs> I took an A minor <laughs> and E. I slid the E and it sounded Spanish and I was like, yo, we need a, we need a ride back. <laughs> Let's call it Mexico. I've already got a chorus. Man, I wish you were in Mexico, Mexico. And that's, that's, that's actually how it happened. <laughs> Not proud of it. Not proud of it, but uh, that's how it is. <laughs> you funny fucking guy. No. I tell you, you're on something, man. I don't know what it is, but share it with you. <laughs> puff, puff, I'm pass, free. So, super sober. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm not even gonna. No, okay, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll just say that was the greatest story that never happened. Okay. Yes. Um, JD. After we did it yesterday, I, I, I had to, I had to walk her. I had to sit down and think about it. And I was like, we actually did everything we did yesterday completely sober. Was that? Is that a like, first? That, that never happens. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> like when I say, uh, even if we try and do something so bad, fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> Either Nothing Duncan gets tossed out in the back of the bucky, or Sipe fucking cries there in the corner. Even his fucking <laughs> girl in the bar. This what? That's when we. That happens when we're sober. Yeah, this was the first successful mission, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, we're running out of time here, so so let's let's get the sorry, lowdown sorry, on sorry. on the song JD. How, how did that come about? Other than having your heart broken, Sipe, how did this uh, the tune happen? I feel so, like Sipe's heart. Okay, yeah, you can take on. it. You can take no, it. no, 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 take it, take it, take it. Okay, so I feel this this breakup was so bad it didn't hit Sipe. It actually hit me. That's how hard a breakup it was. The song was literally wrote in, I think, five minutes of the words just coming together perfectly. We actually had a, a different second verse, which Sipe just never learned. Yeah. And he <laughs> rocked up the stage and I'm like, did you, did you learn the song? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, cool, can we do it? I'm like, he's like, yeah, 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 let's fucking do it. Cool, cool, cool. Get on the stage. This guy starts improvising a whole verse and it kind of just stuck. Uh, that's that's how JD's second is, but it's, I promise you, it's genius there because the lyrics are absolutely fucking hilarious. Are you a cigarette? Because I want to pull you. Brilliant. It was supposed the whole song was like these cheesy as fuck pickup lines. I'm not Excellent. kidding. It was like, how can I put jokes in a song about pickup lines? Because you've heard <laughs> them all, but what have you not heard? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's brilliant. I mean, it's it's a it's a classic song. I, I absolutely love it. And so those I've actually put on my pod on my Talk to Trev podcast volume one, which is a Spotify uh, playlist of bands that I've interviewed. Um, I had my bosses on there right now, and the link will be in the description oh, no, below, really. like that. So that's epic, man. I'm, I'm I might be tempted to to put um, in its place Mexico because I really like that song. Really like that song. That, that, that's a fun. I, I like that. I like that. Right. So, um, what's going to happen for 2021, lads? The comeback. On a Moose scale. Yeah. The year was 2021. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we were stuck on we a raft in, in the middle Africa of the Atlantic the Ocean spread. with 37 yeah. keys, and we didn't know what to do with it. We had to sail back to South Africa, but the borders were closed. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a board has been placed in water. <laughs> the harbors were closed. <laughs> You're beaches, making me really. feel high when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder Jack Carrier asked you to fucking open up for him. That's brilliant. Yes, 
That must, that must have been a luck opening up for Jack Perry. Yes. That was, I mean, that, that was a turning point for us. Like, was it the first time or the second time we opened for Jack Perry? Uh, like the, I think was it was the second time. Yeah, so the second time we opened up for Jack Perry, what happened was, um, it was still, we didn't have a drum at the time. It was just me, Vim, and Eva. And um, Vim used to play um, a uh, kick drum, but he used to put it backwards. That makes sense. So oh, yeah, so this this is this is the acoustic stuff. Yeah, so right. this is now like New York. If you watch New York music video on YouTube, you'll see you'll hear there's there's not there's not much drums. It's just literally just kick drum. Right. And um, what happened was in like our second or third song, the kick pedal broke in half. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of had to. We looked at each other. We're like, we're gonna have to pull something out of our asses to keep these people entertained. So the next thing you know, (laughs) (laughs) well, the next thing you know, Ivan is on a table. The next thing I know, I'm in the middle of a crowd. We we just we went ballistic, and that 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 was the start of the craziness that you see on stage now today. Awesome, it it, it was a turning point. It's where I feel like where we got comfortable performing on a stage. Yeah, right. Where the inhibitions left. Nice. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, guys, that's uh, time is uh, ticking by, so we've got to call it quits now. But uh, I just want to thank you for uh, taking the time out to have a chat, and uh, congrats on the 2,000 uh, likes on Instagram. And uh, I look forward to seeing the challenges. He says likes too, guys. What? They confused me the whole day yesterday because I kept saying, we want to get likes, and they're like, no, followers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just so much social media, man. Likes, followers, loves, shares, cares, <laughs> who, who the, whatever. Fuck, just take it. Whatever yeah. they give you, whatever they give you, just yeah. take. The Vim will be happy. But yeah, <laughs> thank you, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for man, talking man. to us. That's fun. All right, it's an absolute pleasure, guys. And uh, I look forward to hearing some new stuff and um, seeing the band soar from here on in. No, right. definitely. No, we'll, we'll call you when we we're coming to the cat, all right? All righty, cool. Just make sure you bring a couple of those Colombian keys with you, all right? Thanks. All right, oh, cheers, thanks. man. All righty, yes, cheers, man. cheers.